This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at the factors that affect the boiling points of organic compounds. The three main factors that affect the boiling points of organic compounds are molar mass of the compound, the structure of the molecule, which is straight chain versus branch chain isomers, and the type of functional group that determines the intermolecular forces. These are hydrogen bonding, dipole-dipole forces, and London dispersion forces. So we'll start by looking at the first factor, which is molar mass. In this table, we can see the boiling points of the first 10 members of the alkane homologous series. So that's starting with methane with one carbon atom, up to decane with 10 carbon atoms. If we look at the second column, we can see that the molar mass increases as the number of carbon atoms also increases. In the third column, we can see the boiling points of the compounds. So from this table, we can see that as the molar mass increases, the boiling point also increases. So next, we look at the explanation for this trend. Here we can see space filling models for the first four members of the alkane homologous series, from methane to butane. So as the molar mass increases, the number of electrons within the molecule also increases. So as we go from left to right, we have an increasing molar mass, which means an increasing number of electrons. Larger molecules are more polarizable and therefore have stronger London dispersion forces. So of these four molecules, butane is the most polarizable. This means that butane has the strongest London dispersion forces of these four molecules. Another factor is that larger molecules have an increased surface area over which the London dispersion forces can act. So it's for these two reasons that an increase in molar mass means an increase in boiling point. The next factor we look at is branched versus straight chain isomers. Here we can see two structural isomers of C6H14. At the top we have hexane which is a straight chain isomer. At the bottom we have 2,2-dimethylbutane which is a branch chain isomer. The straight chain isomer has a boiling point of approximately 70 degrees C. The branch chain isomer has a boiling point of approximately 50 degrees C. So from this we can see that branch chain isomers have lower boiling points than straight chain isomers. The reason for this is that the branches in the branch chain isomer prevent the molecules getting close together. This means there is less surface area contact between the molecules. This results in weaker London dispersion forces and a lower boiling point. So when we compare branched and straight chain isomers, the straight chain isomer will have a higher boiling point, and the branch chain isomer will have a lower boiling point. The next factor we look at is the effect of the functional group. Here we can see two organic compounds. On the left we have butanol, on the right we have pentane. Both compounds have similar molar masses. However, if we compare the boiling point, we can see that the boiling point of butanol is higher than that of pentane. Pentane belongs to the alkane homologous series, which are non-polar molecules. Butanol is an alcohol which has a hydroxyl functional group. Alcohols are able to form hydrogen bonds between their molecules whereas alkanes such as pentane only have weaker London dispersion forces between their molecules. So the reason for the higher boiling point of butanol is that it has stronger intermolecular forces between its molecules. So next we look at the different types of intermolecular forces that different organic compounds have. The first examples we look at are alcohols, amides and carboxylic acids. These molecules tend to have higher boiling points because they are able to form hydrogen bonds between their molecules. If we look at each molecule, we can see that it either has an oxygen bonded to a hydrogen or a nitrogen bonded to a hydrogen. Therefore, they have the ability to form hydrogen bonds between their molecules. For this reason, these compounds tend to have higher boiling points than other molecules with similar molar masses. The next examples we look at are aldehydes, ketones, and esters. The strongest type of intermolecular forces between these molecules are dipole-dipole forces. If we look at each molecule, we can see that it has a carbon atom bonded to an oxygen atom. 
because of the difference in electronegativity between carbon and oxygen, these are all polar molecules. However, they lack the ability to form hydrogen bonds. So these compounds have lower boiling points than molecules that are able to form hydrogen bonds. The last examples we look at are the alkanes, alkenes and alkynes. Because these are non-polar molecules, they only have weak London dispersion forces between their molecules. Therefore, they tend to have lower boiling points. So let's end with a summary. Here we will rank the organic compounds in order of increasing boiling point. Compounds at the bottom have low boiling points and high volatility, whereas compounds at the top have high boiling points and low volatility. So starting at the bottom we have compounds that can only form London dispersion forces between their molecules. They are non-polar molecules such as the alkanes, alkenes and alkynes. Next we have compounds that can form dipole-dipole forces between their molecules. These are polar molecules such as aldehydes, ketones, esters, ethers and nitriles. And at the top we have compounds that can form hydrogen bonds between their molecules. These are alcohols, amides, amines and carboxylic acids. These compounds tend to have higher boiling points and low volatility.